would see some robbers who were looking to lose a fight. know that the bags banks use don't have big dollar signs on them? I know. I was disappointed. gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Hey Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that Yang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. One sec. Let's all cool down for a bit. Ready to burn? Truck's stable enough to get somewhere safe for unloading. Thank you, long lasting webs. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, They could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. <laughs> oh, 
coordinates are showing a stash near the top of the Braxton building. an underground tech. They try to rebuild themselves without Finn, but I'll put it to better use. Make sure Pete knows about this. Okay, Pete, carry on.
was wondering what this place was. This was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh, really? But I was gonna give him a tour, let him decide for himself. All right. <sighs> you know, Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Attention. Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Gene. I just checked in on Dan and Annie. Here, follow me. Welcome to data does not cross-tabulate with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Oh, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not for the Oh, nice! Yep. Oh, yeah. Gotta protect the hive. Nice. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying on. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. 
Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. That's precisely the issue. The accelerator is going to need a full recalibration. Who's going to tell Nico? Not me. I like my job and plan to keep it. Well, I didn't find the problem. Looks like it's on you. Oh, fine. Cowards. So much to see here. Where do I even start? This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Organic life forms have arisen from non biological chemical compounds. Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. We are Or as much as I can right now. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? I wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh, yeah, that would take a while. 
Not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra proceed a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming with absolute observational techniques. Did you see the monthly schedule update? Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. There's so much to explore, but I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project, and lowers the old cortisol levels too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. Yes, we need someone to come back and check the And you see, if you let the range is too broad in the watering system, the required precision. Right. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm because is part of accelerators are sensitive. If you look at it that way. 
Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for understanding. See you soon. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Let's see. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Okay, if I combine these traits...
Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember. The things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Come on, I'm so excited for you to see this. Okay, okay. Go ahead. I really swipe. We need more security. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and May proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location that your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> 